Well, I think our six o'clock ladies are a little bit late, but I'm in, I'm anticipating that they're going to be here. Oh, did you hear that? Something. I think that's them. I think they're here. I think they're here. Or they're flying in from somewhere. I don't know where they go. Is way far away because they don't usually get to be in Defiance, Ohio. Oh, I'll take this and then I'll go see if they're there. I think I heard something. Anderson 1 and Anderson 2. They're here, they're here. The sisters are here. Here, let's move you. There you go. You're all right, good boy. Ma'am, you move you too? That's a good boy. Or girl. Girl. <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> And each one comes with its oh, own the frame. The frames are not on it right now. No, no, they are being personally hand carved as we speak. Yes, yes. Personally so, without further ado, do you? Do, do. <laughs> Do they all know that you, you, for our new people, that you are the Le Chat Sisters? We are the Le Chat Sisters. I figured everybody knew us. Le Chat means the cat in French. Yes. We, we, we. I am a dwee. Uh, I am Fifi. Fifi. This is my twin sister, Agnes. Can you see the, can you see how much we look alike? <laughs> yes. Yes. Can you see? Yeah, we look good, don't we? Yes. Okay. And this is Edwina. Edwina. Edwina, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Now. Now. Each one of these glorious pictures was made by one of these. The oh. These things. What are these? Little kitties. Kitties. <laughs> kitties. Okay. Well, we are going to, I am going to show these to you, and then they're going to be put on, on the thing there. They're going to be on there, so you can um, bid on these. I thought we were going to do, like, starting a bid at, like, $5,000 each, but Miss Jackie says no. Well, what, whatever. Do, do they know your rules? I think they do. Remember, they're $5 tickets. You can buy one chance on each ticket, or you can buy 10 chances, whatever you want. Start Sunday and ends on Wednesday at 
9 a.m. And then we have boxes at 3. And this wonderful, lovely drawing starts right after boxes at 3. Tickets are $5 a piece. And you can do... 5000 uh, Well, no. Did I say 5000 Yes. I think I did. They're $5 okay. Okay. a ticket. We're being asked to introduce ourselves again. I'm Edwina. I'm the younger sister. And I am Fifi. I am the older sister. However, I do have a twin. I'm... I'm... What? Agnes. Agnes. I am... Natanya. Agnes. Agnes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Her name is Agnes, and she looks just like me. Okay. This... You want me to tell you the part of me that looks just like her? <laughs> it's rather similar. Here, let me... Okay. Oh. Okay. So this one was done by Spikers. You may hold that. You may. This is called Field of Dreams. What a divine masterpiece Spikers, or, or Mr. Spikers, as he is known to his close friends, is, is definitely a gifted impressionist. In all of the world's works of, uh, all of his works of art, he shows his superior talent, but this one is absolutely amazing. See how he chooses a color palette that emulates flowers of different depths? Yes! By using tense shades of purple and pink hues, he catches the calm and con uh, content atmosphere of pastures of flowers blooming in the warm sun. Despite this calming mood, Spiker longs for the lover of this level of inner tranquility. His story is all too familiar as his past is quickly catching up to him. His, his, when he was a younger frisky kitty, <laughs> Spikers made some bad decisions and used and purchased some cheap froze freeze-dried turkey he purchased at a gas station. Nowadays he spends most of his time days and nights wandering the sea coast searching for peace, love, and flowers. Next! We can and, set this, one down and this is Spiker. This is done by Monsieur Ramsey. This is called 21 Flappers. See all those? Hey, you want to flappers? Yes. Ramsey is one of like the Randall lesser Stoller. known artists in this show. He is one of those quiet, silent types. Ramsey's style is that of the Great Depression. Note the base colors are dark and dank as they were, as the emotions were in the 1920s. And yet, the magnificent, brilliant colors. These are the colors of the speakeasies. The texture of this illusion shows Ramsey exciting interpretation of this period in our history. He uses a touch of Victorian outlines, see those, and yet a hint of Art Deco, which is, they are uh, elegantly intertwined. His work is absolutely breathtaking. Ramsey, Ramsey. <laughs> okay. Next is Alma. Alma. There's a very, very dark secret about this. Alma. The name of this is actually called anacrophobia. In this portrait, Alma shows, Alma shows her anxieties and disdain that are the result of her fear of the wind. The wind. The colors are swirling and dizzy. They emphasize her hate and fear of her nightmarish air current phobia. Her harsh strokes show the threatening clouds and blustering winds. It is impossible to see and appreciate the textures of the storm clouds unless there is a light shining in is from the side and it catches the ridges and casts small shadows with the dark light reflecting the coarse crease of the paint. It is absolutely breathtaking breathtaking. As a result of Alma's um, continuous fear of even the smallest amount of wind, <gasps> she has become hopelessly addicted to bonito flakes. Because of this intense, because of the intense withdrawal side effects for this addiction, Alma must be medicated daily at a dreadfully high cost in order to maintain her focus and mental stability. Okay. Next is Lucy. 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 This is Lucy. We all know Lucy. The name of this is 
called Butterfly Kisses. Lucy is such a talented young artist. Her paintings reflect her own life, timid yet powerful, joyful yet distressed. Notice the clear and decisive characters in her work. Can you see them? Can you see them? And how these colors blend perfectly as does her, the two aspects of Lucy's own existence. Lucy lives a double life. During the day, she is a meek and shy girl, keeping only to herself. But at night, <laughs> at night, she becomes a prowling panther. Black darkness is her name as she is known in the Pussycat Lounge. And she waits on tables for tips and fun. Bear chicka bear bear. She also has a dirty little secret that we read about in the tabloids. The truth is, Lucy was never spayed. Yeah. Due to the extraordinarily high cost of a complete spay procedure from a reputable veterinarian, the article goes on to say that she has actually contemplated seeking a cheaper procedure from a back alley clinic, but chose not to take that chance. She was also quoted saying that at times she has had as many as five litters of her own kitties living in her house at one time. You talk about a crowd. To make matters worse, some of those kitties have litters of their own. In a matter of five years between Black Panther and her kittens, they could have, oh my, they could have 40, 420,000 kitties. Oh. Darling, you need to do something about that. Okay. Next is Elsie. Elsie? Oops, Elsie. Elsie, this is Elsie. Elsie's art is called Tip, Tip, Tippy Toes. This amazing, sightless Czechoslovakian artist paints this detailed landscape portrait of trees, mountains, waterfalls just by using her fingertips. Elsie states, she feels the different colors by the texture of the paint. Her colors blend from earthly natural colors on the top to vibrant colors on the bottom of the canvas with a fluid tendency, thus reflecting the transition from land to water and additionally day to night. She masters this breathless paint method by after losing the sight in both of her eyes due to an at-home dye job gone bad. We all know about that, don't we? <laughs> anyway, Elsie has had to sell some of her most beloved paintings to buy her medical expenses and also her private Czechoslovakian frail lessons. That's Elsie. She was hiding little whippersnapper. Which side? Okay. Right in front of me. She was hiding. The next one is a ghastly. This one, this one is by Janie. <laughs> Janie ponders, proud to be me, whoever I am. Janie's art style is one of confusion and self pity. Janie works showing her inner identity crisis. Her constantly asking, am I a cat dog or dog cat? Her mixed feelings show in her strong yet gentle strokes. Her light yet dark colors. Her hairy paws yet her bare toes. Janie's conflict began when she was just a wee puppy. puppy. She was supplemented KMR for one meal. One meal. That was the one and only time. However, Janie became addicted to KMR and thus the species dilemma began. Through her hard work, 
Janie has beat the KMR addiction it is now, and is now selling her portraits to help pay for those who are fighting to determine the truth about their inner species self also. Come on, move it along, move it along. We don't have all evening. She can be quite feisty. Okay, bossy. This one is done by one of my favorites. This is Bruno or Paw Paw. <laughs> you like Paw Paw? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Paw Paw is an oldster and, and is a futuristic abstract self-portrait. This is one of his extensive collections of, of his many, many arts, modern painting, which include his impression of love, his impression of anger, a painting of pain, and one of himself traveling across Europe. Not surprisingly, most of these were done when he was partaking in self-grown catnip. His colors are vibrant and free-flowing. Bruno, or Paw Paw's history is a very familiar one of catnip addiction due his, to his inability to eat or breathe because of his button nose. Look at that button nose. Okay. His surgeries have been expensive, costing hundreds of dollars. Afterward, with much love, and care from the medical ex and medical staff at the Betty Ford Clinic, Papa has been weaned off of his nip. Papa no longer has his urge to do self-portraits to relieve himself of his nasal demon. He is now a professional aircraft repo man. Okay. Vernon. We all know Vernon. <laughs> Vernon is how I mink stole your heart. <laughs> mink, stole, mink stole your heart. Vernon considers himself to be a real Casanova. Huh? 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 And likes to think of himself as a love scarf. Before coming to FFRC, Vernon was, how shall we put it, with many considerable number of women. Yep. Uh -huh. Vernon has since met and fallen in love with his soulmate, Marilyn. Vernon has since, uh, Vernon, he now loves to spend his days and nights showing his true feelings for his, th for her through his art. Vernon uses strong and vibrant tones to enhance the dry strokes of his brush. The texture of these paintings give the illusion of his silver-colored hair being incorporated into the paintings. This is his first and last masterpiece he will allow to be sold. Okay. Hensley. Hensley. The name of Hensley's painting is Miso Mellow. As you can see, Hensley was going through a mellow period in his life. He was painting with glorious colors. See how the vibrant colors flow dramatically from one color to the next? Isn't it breathtaking? His focal point is asymmetric, yet the or uh, original image is highlighted by its coarse texture. Hensley is tremendously different than when he was younger. Tens Hensley had been hanging with a unsavory group of thug kitties, yes? He was frowned by a transient inebriated in the bottom of a garbage can. His coat looked dreadful and was seriously infested with those horrible, nasty little Please. <laughs> Hensley was taken to the Mayo Clinic where he spent months being re receiving psychological help and daily 
flee. Fumigation. To this day, the past still haunts him. He must still dish out huge amounts of money for his own private psychologist. Hensley. This one is called The Magic Man. <laughs> the Magic Man. <laughs> the Magic Man. <laughs> okay. The Magic Man. Magic has a unique painting style. It is called body art. This particular method is quite controversial in the more established art community, but magic has captured the glorious intense colors of his true inner spirit by using his entire body to express the reflection of today's world conflicts. The beauty, beautiful upward strokes show his hope, but the downward blurred muted hints indicate a spiraling attitude. A freak accident in his early childhood involving a swarm of genetically altered ladybugs caused him to use, lose the lot, caused him to use, lose the use of his hind legs and tail. Too many fleas, he, sister. He was Too many found fleas. on the verge of death. The injuries were severe, leaving him questionable whether he would ever paint again. But after extensive reconstructive surgery, totaling thousands of dollars, which is less than mine, <laughs> magic, was a, magic became one of the world's most influential art using the unique body style of body. Okay. Are we ready? Hatima. 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 Hers is called Whiskers on Kitten. What do you keep It was done by one of the youngest artists to ever be allowed to enter their work. Atima's pleasant mood is evident in the constant movement and changing of colors. Look at how the elements in this painting are arranged and the relationship between the different parts and how your eye moves across the, co the co composition. Absolutely magnificent. Magnificent. These motions reflect and enhance the delicious environment that this kitty has lived in and replicates her love of life. Hatima is the newest generation of artists and her work makes me want to smile. <laughs> okay. Baron. Baron is called the his art is, his painting is called the gifted one. <laughs> gifted one. Okay. The gifted one. Baron is a very talented artist who is quite smitten with himself. Baron likes to refer to himself as a the Baron. Baron. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> The Baron visualizes other worlds and subsequently applies these visions to the canvas for all to enjoy. He uses swirling and flowing movements to create bodily, body fractation images. Baron has a strong, vibrant tone to enhance the dry strokes of his brushes. And the texture of paints gives the illusion of Swarkop crystals. Like See my crystals? Yeah, those are real. Those are real. Anyway, those it, it appears that those have been incorporated into his painting. There's definitely never been another modern day impressionist like the Baron. Now, this one, this last one, is a surprise. A surprise. Do you hear me? I say it's a surprise. 
the name of this is called the surprise. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. I'm, I'm so funny. <laughs> okay, surprise. We ready? Yes. Yes. Get closer they, so they can see. I it. certainly can, but I not can. in front of me. Okay, well, then you gotta get out of the way. <laughs> okay. This wonderful art what, work. What's going on now? Oh, oh, whoops. Sorry. It's a magical creation of our wonderful head crazy cat lady. <laughs> Her talent and inner sparkle are reflected in the way she uses her hand and feet to blend the brilliant tones swirling and weaving into the colorful cheery texture tapestry. The negative space of this inspirational piece was filled with secret codes. Look at these. These are secret. Secret. You don't know what these mean. Okay? These are all secret. These symbols and digits are all have all significant meanings that are known only to the artist herself. Care for that hand is okay. Thank you. You may now get that out of here. Okay. It is not a coincidence that all these participating artists live at FFRC. This is a wonderful institute and it takes pride in producing only the very best artists. They want to ensure a long, happy, healthy, productive life of painting. They do this by providing each participant with free medical care. But <laughs> this service does not come at a small price. Each new student, are there any students? Yes, there's one. <laughs> there's one on her butt. Your sister's having a lot of trouble here. here give yes. me the student. This is the one that's trying to eat my skirt. <laughs> Each new student. <laughs> what? This is how we hold them. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Each new student incurs base medical portfolio, which consists of Please. Please prevention, tested for deadly diseases, medication, and several relaxing soaking baths. All of this is at a minimum, minimum cost of three hundred fifty dollars each. This shared original, this shared, this is, this is how we produce such good. Artist students. What was this again? It's a kitty. A kitty. Here. Thank you. Okay. Now, please remember to buy many, many tickets. They're only five thousand dollars a piece. Five thousand dollars a piece. I think Wait. you've got a little bit too many zeros on there. I'm sorry. Just too many zeros. Okay. Normally we sell for $5,000, but for you we'll do five bucks. Okay. You need to start doing this when? Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Do it now. Sunday. Confuse all of them. Just do it now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be funny? Start doing it Sunday. And you too could win a student. You can win a student. I think you've got the wrong end, sister. Oh, you too could win one of these students. No, yes. The painting. The painting. Yeah, and and not the student. The painting. Oh. The painting says. You can't give away the students. The students are still learning. I've been around the feathers too long. You could and win a painting. If you have any more questions, you may contact Miss Jaji. Okay. Are there any questions anybody has? 
I didn't think so. Okay. Now, we are planning on going to dinner. Do you want to come with them? Okay, bye. <laughs> Ladies, shall we go? We shall. It was nice to see everybody again. Oh, will you all be here on Wednesday? I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. She I have a previous has, engagement. She oh. has a date? A date? Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on how it works out with this little young boy over here. I'm going to work on that on the way out, okay? I may be late, you guys. There's dinner and then there's boys. I got things to do. Yeah. All right. by one of the, the, the people on the other side. Well, yes. Miss Darkhead says yeah. that you need to learn how to hold the kitties correctly. Come on. Come on. She All right. That's her way. And I'm, I'm here. Many feathers. Goodbye. Oh, Fifi, you left a lot of feathers following your, your the way. The students can eat them. Okay. <laughs> That's Come what on. I'm worried about. <laughs> This is uh, 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 manhandling. Yeah, <laughs> you can pet one, but I don't think I want you picking them up. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Fifi. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got clean up feathers. So just to give you a quick rundown, number one is Spiker. Two is Ramsey. <laughs> I mean, Claudia, yeah, you crack me up. Oh my gosh. Three, who is three? Who is three? Three is Alma. These will all be in frames. Beautiful frames. Yeah. I think you did. Number four is Lucy. I already, I already agreed to it. Oh, I was going to say, I have to apologize for that. And, uh, no one's reversed that. I already five is Elsie. So <laughs> Six is Janie Cat Dog. <laughs> and seven is Papa. He got crazy busy. Eight is Vernon. You will start seeing these on a um, on a video soon too. Nine is Hensley. Ten. Oops. Ten is magic. Stop. Eleven is Hatima. And twelve is Baron. So how this works, folks, is just like last year. And it is our fundraiser for February. And um, you can buy chances on all of your on the portraits you can buy put like one dot one ticket which is five dollars not five thousand <clears throat> on um any any uh portrait that you may want or if you so desire you can buy 10 tickets or whatever put them all a sprinkling of all of them or um you can put sock them all on one and then um my uh wednesday we will have our our box is first followed by the drawing and then uh, we'll just see what happens but all the pictures will go out then to the person that that has their name drawn and there's so many feathers on the floor I think Fifi, um, Fifi uh, got a little crazy well 13 is there's all kinds of hidden things in there Thank you, Kitty's mom. I will. So, there you have it. We got the pictures ready to roll on a video. And it seems like there was something else I was going to tell you about it. Oh, about Pania. You all know what's going on with Pania, right? No. Oh, so yesterday, was that just yesterday we had boxes? And Pania has figured out, yesterday she figured out, that if she meowed enough, yes, what do you want? That if she meowed enough, 
I gave her a snack, and that was not probably the good thing to do. Because now, then she did that two more times. She ended up doing that three times, and all three times she got snackers or her special snackers over there. And then today when I did boxes, she did this. She climbed up there. <laughs> Thank you, Jabber. She knows how to train you. She has trained us well. So I'm just... See, that's all she wants is a little bit of that. I told her she's going to have to be uh, forking over some dough to pay for all her all her um, Kanye snackers. Or she's going to have to give up some food because she's eating a lot of these. Every time she hears commotion over here, that's what she does now. Isn't she so smart? Love it. Okay, I'm going to go. Whoops, wait. We better pick up feathers first. No, no, Dorito. No, no, don't eat feathers, baby. Pania, no more. All done. It's all bye bye. I think Miss Fifi needs a lesson on how to hold kitties. I thought that poor thing. Oh, now, Vernon, or Hensley, you're okay, honey. Whoops. Here, let's pick up more feathers. <laughs> no more. <clears throat> You're done, girl. Yes, you are. You're done. Okay. <laughs> well, since I'm leaving tomorrow, I gotta call Connie D and see if she'll come over here so I can go through all the medicines with her. For all the kitties while I'm gone. Oh my. All right, let me go, kitties. I gotta call Connie.